Welcome back to another exciting episode of Siesca News. As always, let's not waste your time. Let's get right into it. And first off, starting off today's Siesca News and huge news, we do have Renegades player and former team captain Sponge has officially retired from the game of CSGO. Now, although he does plan to stay somewhere in the esports arena, he did announce this on Twitter, came out with his reasonings and thanking his whole team. Sponge from Renegades is officially retired from CSGO. So that was in big news today. And also in bigger news, Ye LMAO, another prophecy of his, was correct. As you guys know, a few days ago, he came out on CSGO Reddit and said Sponge will be retiring or at least leaving Renegades. He ended up being right, although Gomez did reply on Twitter and say what is this is false information. So Gomez, it seems he just lied to kind of delay the news. He didn't want anyone thinking it was the truth. So Gomez did lie on Twitter, and that's the reason why for that. So it has been confirmed. Sponge will be leaving Team Renegades, and we can also probably, you know, suspect that he will be replaced by the player Ofnu, which is the player that uh, Yi LMAO and also the former SK player Sniper confirmed on Twitter, which is the player who would be replacing him. But also in big news, some rumors here saying the Renegades players, their CSGO team, have removed the RNG from their Twitter handles. If you guys don't know, RNG is standing for Renegades. Every single CSGO player besides the coaches and JKs has removed the RNG from their Twitter handles, although we don't know if they had that in there before. But the only CSGO roster player for Team Renegades right now that has RNG in their Twitter handle is JKs, one of their players. If you guys don't know, Yee LMAO, one of his final prophecies was indeed that Team Renegades would be disbanding sometime, sometime soon. So Sponge's retirement might be the beginning of the end for Team Renegades. We'll have yet to see that sometime soon in the future. And for those of you who do follow E-League Group D, that has been going on throughout this whole week. Now, viewership was down this week, probably despite because the NBA Finals is going on the same week. Game 7 will be sometime soon, but it wasn't last night, and viewership for the E-League Group D Finals was very, very down, but we shouldn't worry because next week the NBA Finals will be over, so hopefully it goes back up, but it was coming down to Fnatic and FaZe in the Finals there. They beat out TSM and Dignitas, who combined, TSM and Dignitas, I think combined they had a total of two wins, and that was were both wins for Dignitas in their best of three series versus each other. So throughout group play, Dignitas and TSM really struggled at came down Fnatic and FaZe in the finals, and it was Fnatic who took the finals there in a best of three. They swept FaZe 2-0, and it really quite convincingly, the first map on Cash was somewhat close, 16-12, with Olaf Meister having 30 frags, and he was actually Fnatic's top fragger as opposed to Flusher. They tied the second map, but Olaf Meister coming back better than ever. Again, like I said before, in that first map on Cash, he dropped 30 frags. He tied Flusher on the second map uh, in, in 21 frags there, but still their top fragger. It was amazing to see Fnatic actually swept FaZe 2-0, and quite convincingly, that second map was actually 16 to 5 I believe so really cool to see there although this does not mean Fnatic is back to being the top team they once were before with Olaf Meister now he probably still does have some gimmicks going on for him he's probably working those kinks out but still they will have went and staying in for them for a substitute if everything happens to Olaf Meister but still this does not mean they're the number one team in the world beating teams like FaZe Clan, Dignitas and TSM are really good wins they did it in quite convincing fashion but there are still top tier teams out there like NIP, Navi, LG there are plenty of teams out there that present different problems for Fnatic but this is a really good start for them so hopefully it goes on really well in the, in the future for them the team looking very good and in other really huge CSGO news Navi's very own Seize is safe he is saved guys he will not have to spend two years over in his hometown working there for a work visa to come back to America he will not have to spend two years away from the game he will continue playing CSGO for Navi apparently we had Navi officials Virtus Pro members and even ESL officials helping him out to get his necessary visas to both work and travel to Germany and America back and forth however so he wants so he has acquired the correct visas he tweeted out that so thank goodness another uh, CSGO player has acquired the correct visas. So the dominance of Navi may continue as Seize will be staying with the team from now on. And it's great to see that, you know, more and more CSGO players are acquiring these visas. Also in Visa News, if you guys heard a couple weeks ago when we touched on this in CSGO News, Complexity's very own CSGO player known as Depp actually became one of the first CSGO players to acquire a P1 athletic visa. So basically they're calling him an athlete for playing these esports. He can travel back and forth to America with little to no problems. But now his own teammate, as they go, they call him Surreal, has all also acquired an athlete's visa. So for any teams out there who are having visa issues, contact Complexity. These teams, they know how to do it because also they have one of their COD players, one of their Call, Call of Duty players known as Goonjar, has also acquired a P1 athletic visa. So for any teams out there, you know, hint, hint, Ty Lu, having visa issues, contact Complexity because their managers are doing it very well. We do now have almost half their CSGO team, including Depp and Surreal, having no more visa issues. So congrats to Team Complexity. They are doing it right. And again, it really cool. it's really cool to see the esports scene kind of grasping the idea that these guys being athletes and they can have no more issues when traveling. And very last in today's CSGO news, and really no surprise, we predicted this a few days ago actually on CSGO news, Splice's very own Abraham, also known in-game as Abe, has finally left Splice. Now this was very predictable because as you guys may know or may not know, he was known to have missed several concurring events, so several matches and also tournaments, including DreamHack Austin with the team for very suspicious and kind of what lacking reasons. He, he missed DreamHack Austin because of vacation, although he did admit that he actually planned the 
vacation before they were invited, but still, he missed that for vacation, and he was stood in very frequently a majority of the time by Echo Fox's current players, Freakazoid and Shazam. So it was very predictable he would be leaving the team sometime soon, as he was not playing with them very often. We have no idea where he will go now, but yes, Abraham, also known as Abe, has left Team Splice. Summit! Summit! And just as I was just about to finish this video, it has been confirmed also Professor Chaos from Splice, the second player from Splice in this week, has also left Team Splice. So he is now gone as well. Summit 1G is definitely confirmed. He's coming back, baby. As always, guys, I really enjoy making these CSGO News episodes. Today's episode was just really fun to make. I hope you guys all enjoyed. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. Remember, I like you. I'll see you guys all tomorrow with the CSGO News video. If you guys have any news you want me to share, please leave it down below. As always, I'll be replying to the first 200 comments. Good luck. You know what's coming. Ah! You bye!